Hello YouTube, Buggy Beta here back with another video and today we will be doing as equal to my last video which was about coding with brackets. I found that has got more views than any video I have posted. So before moving on to the video, I would like to make a request. I know many of you might not watch this video until last. So please like the video if you liked it and show your aggression by hitting the unlike button. If you want to see more of my videos, then please subscribe. And if you have any query or question then please comment. I will be trying to answer your question and if I am not able to do so, someone else will answer your questions. For that you have to just start discussion down below in the comment section. And if you think this video should be seen by someone else than yourself, please feel free to share. And uh, let's not waste any more time and get started. To watch the previous video click here or links down below. In my last video I was using brackets version 1.4 but the latest is 1.5 and uh, it's always better to have updated software links will be down below before coding we need install two plugins so for that go to file extension manager and in the search bar type in html skeleton As you can see this HTML skeleton, click install and it will install. After that type in zoom and uh, hit install. You do need to have an internet connection for that. Then close it. Now as you know the best feature of brackets is live preview and for that we need to have our files in a folder. So we will quickly create a folder on desktop and the new file and name it as index. We will directly, we'll directly modify the txt extension to html. To do that in the file explorer click on view and check the file name extension box. Now go to the file, open folder and navigate to where you have created the folder. and click select folder now click on html skeleton icon the plugin we have just installed so in here we have different options available uh, we can insert link image or a basic html uh, demonstration purpose and uh, as it's our initial video we will choose basic skeleton so uh, tick that and uh, click done so the latest version of html is html5 which is powerful and customizable so the first line we see is the rule for html rule defining to a web browser that it is a html file so it's written doc type html so it represents that do this document is an html document the, there are three main things we'll, we are going to hear in html that is tag which is the main component and within a tag we can have an attribute and uh, an attribute can have a value so every code starts with html tag like this and uh, and it ends with a tag which is similar just with an addition of a, a forward slash and uh, here lang that is language is the attribute and uh, equals quotation in quotation we write the value so value for the language is uh, that we are going to write is english so the short for english is en and you can choose many other languages and the html tag is then followed by a head tag here it includes many links for external style sheet and uh, javascript, php etc and uh, title uh, for, for the favicon etc. After that uh, you can have a meta tag. In meta tag is used for standard encryption reference which uh, we use here is a utf8. This other meta tag is used for giving search engine like google and uh, yahoo uh, a index of your web page for ranking and search according to the search query. As you can see here, Google is the title, beside it is the favicon here. So we will name the title as HTML and you can see it's, uh, it's live as I type it's coming up in the browser and uh, the head tag is closed here. After the head tag we have a body tag where all the text, image etc comes in. For example let's use h1 tag, h1 is the heading tag 
used to write larger headings and it extends from h1 to h6 where size decreases with increasing number. I will show you a demo. So as you can see these are the various font sizes standardly used in web pages. Now let's insert an image in our web page. For that we'll copy one image to our folder. So this is a buggy beta custom wallpaper. You can download it if you like it. The links will be down below. By writing in the code you will have suggestions. That's the benefit of brackets. And uh, as you type in you can so this is the image so it's a bit big so you can adjust the width and height as per your wish by just writing in the attribute width and height and giving value you can also put in a text box like this and type in anything like a it is used in mostly in registration forms etc and uh, we can you can choose to change the background color of the web page or the image i'll show you like this Brackets also has a color picker where you can easily pick colors. And I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.